High school sports, the boys basketball final four action starts tomorrow down in Lakeland. Four local teams have earned a spot in the state tournament. NFEI and Providence will play tomorrow. As for the Revolt Trojans, they earned a spot in the tournament and will play on Thursday. For Revolt, this is their first final four appearance since 2017. Today, the Trojans practice over in UNF Arena to help them get ready to play in that bigger gym down in Lakeland. It's just the trajectory of the ball, how the ball goes, and and you got people in the, on, on both sides and the behind the basket, which we don't never play. It's no walls, so it's going to benefit us. That's why we kind of here shooting around, get some work in, and kind of get a feel of how we need to shoot the ball in the arena. All right, if you have to, I, I guess I asked you this before every game. You got to put your finger on one thing your team does right. They walk out with a win. What's it? What is it? Defense. Pressure defense. We play that, we're going to be in good shape. Is that part of rebound basketball? That's rebound basketball all day long. All right, here's a look at the schedules for that Final Four action down in Lakeland. On Thursday, Rebolt will take on the Village's Charter. That game set for noon. Also on Thursday, Ponte Vedra will be taking on Wakiva. That one's set for Thursday at 8 p.m. We'll be hearing from the Ponte Vedra Sharks right here on Channel 4 tomorrow. But tomorrow's action... A little bit early Final Four action. Providence, they're set tomorrow for an early game at 10 a.m. against Windermere Prep. And then NFEI will take on Sage Mount. That one in the afternoon at 4 p.m. Of course, the best way for you to keep up with all this high school sports action going on, subscribe to that Varsity newsletter. And if you want previews for all these teams, head over to newsforjacks.com right now. We have a couple of them up, and we'll have some more coming your way tomorrow. That'll do it for sports. Kent, Joy, back to you. All right. Thank you, Jim.